yeah, Stephanie Pye for sure, uh, Jen DeWinter, Jason Thompson, uh, Carly Kosurek, Steve Conway, Ralph, Mark, Mark Willette, Ralph Knorr, um, Kevin Moberly is great, uh, Sam Tobin uh, does a lot of fun and interesting work. Um, uh, Toby. Yeah. I'm forgetting to name. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <Fune> Kay. <laughs> Um, yeah, we, we actually work with, I mean, that's part of uh, the Learning Games Initiative Archive is um, the Learning Games Initiative and the Archive together uh, mean that we collaborate with people all the time in all kinds of different contexts. So a lot of times that's game scholars, but sometimes it's people who are developers and like Ryan Kaufman. Right. You know. Well, yeah, I totally space okay. Randy Nichols. He's yeah, Randy someone Nichols. who does absolutely great work. Yeah. Uh, Josh Zimmerman is doing some super interesting work. It's a really exciting time to be in the field um, because there is incredible diversity of perspectives and a phenomenal amount of work being produced. When we started 15 years ago, there was very, very little uh, and it was very limited. It seems like the, the field has kind of reached a critical mass where there are enough people doing it and people training uh, future students from a variety of perspectives. Um, and it's just fun to, to, to go to a conference or look at the journals that are emerging both uh, domestically and internationally as well as the, you can see that um, the, uh, the publications, um, many of those uh, larger presses and even a lot of the smaller presses are not only doing individual game books but game series. Um, it's just an exciting, exciting time. And you can see the, the work not only game specific journals but other journals as well. So it's a, um, it's a great time uh, for people who are interested, but maybe not experienced in the field, to, to come on board.